hello everyone so today also we are going to continue with our moment on ledge camera system and the moment system so here we are going to work on these things so now i can either move back and exit from the same location where i entered the wall like this or if i want i can move to the other side and exit from that way like this and also i can enter from this way as well just like this and if i want i can just go back and exit and also you may notice that the character's animation is changing based on the direction he is moving so if i'm coming here this way character is facing this direction and if i'm going that way character is facing that direction so those things these are the things that we are going to work on today we are going to work on how to make this both colliders act as entry colliders and exit colliders based on the direction or the location that characters enter in the wall ledge walk part and also we are going to work on the animations as well and before we get started i'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel to the date there are over 1700 videos and for each video you can download the project file i'll leave the link in description below and then let's get back to today's tutorial so this is what we have worked on so far we can enter the wall from this side and exit from the other side but there is no way for me to come back and exit from this side i haven't quite worked on that part yet so that's the first thing i want to fix and also i want uh, to be able to enter from both sides that means if i start from here here i only have a exit collider but if the character move here so same as the character go to the wall from the other side the character should be able to enter the wall from here as well and depending on the direction character is moving the animation should be played accordingly okay so first let's start with how to allow character to enter from both sides okay so for that first let me open this squeeze through camera which is the child class of curved rail camera and again a child class of CLM camera so here if you check this trigger events oh we are still in CLM on rail camera let's go to the first base class which is this CLM camera so here you can see we have enable trigger and disable trigger so what I want to do now is I want to uh, make both triggers enable and disable whatever the first collider player overlap with should be the enable trigger and whatever the collider that player overlap with next should be disable trigger it could be the same trigger as well okay now to implement that here let me move this stuff away and put this trigger events closer next to each other and let me isolate those parts so i can okay so now this part is applicable for whatever the disable trigger and this part will be applicable for the enable trigger so as i said i want to make it in such a way that whatever the first collider 
the player collides with should be the enable trigger okay so to determine that here I'll add a branch and if this is already the active camera that means we have already collided that means the next collision or next overlap should go into the disable route so this is enable route and this is disable route so if this is true it should go here and if this is false it should go here like this and both um, events should call the same trigger and now here you see we give a reference to the other actor so let me make a point like this and connect right now we can select this part and collapse to a macro m enable enable disable okay now i'll duplicate that and call separately so we need to give a reference to the other actor okay let me give a proper name to the other actor I'll call it collided actor now even though we don't need to know which trigger that we collided here or which trigger that was the trigger the character entered and which trigger the trigger that used to exit even though we don't need that here i'm gonna need it here because here we are using the disable trigger location and enable trigger location to slide the character into proper locations therefore here i'll add a variable and trigger or should we call it entry trigger yeah entry trigger this should be I think a scene component should work and then another one exit now if we are going on this way this is the activate way here I set and rip what's the entry trigger with this reference now let's go here and instead of enable trigger I can use entry trigger here this is on become view target and then here instead of disable trigger i can use exit trigger access none trying to read property entry trigger hmm. why is that didn't i already said it ah sorry I don't think I give a reference here yeah we need to give this reference otherwise we will not have a value there okay where were we over there mm, mm, no I think this get called multiple times we can check it let's see let me print the other actor yeah 
see um, why is that happening uh, anyway we can prevent it let's add a to one node maybe that's because we manually move the character so we need to reset this to once too okay now let's see that seems fine okay now if my character come back so it did exit but the yeah and enter two but the character moved out a little bit see which is wrong so i think we might need two points that means here what i do is uh, when the character collide with this uh, collider i manually move my character into the location of this entry collider so and when i exit i manually move my character to the middle of the exit collider but we might need a separate way to do that because let me check from this side so if I go there it does exit but it works because this part is already outside this wall so uh, when the capsule get enlarged the character is not pushed away from the wall but here it does so that's what happens but if I simply move this away from the wall let me make it smaller and move it like this now the character would be starting outside the wall let me show you see we are outside the wall and we are already in the animation we I keep it back on the wall so What's this okay so let's focus on what I was working on so here let's add a scene component to define the location that we need to move the character I'll call this move point one or should I call it wall point? Yeah, let's call it wall point. No, wall point one. And duplicate another one in the disable trigger two. Okay, now instead of moving my character into the entry trigger location I'll move it to the move point and then here is the trigger I'll change this move point to a location like this and for the disable trigger also I'll move it to a location like this then here instead of entry trigger I'll use either this point or this point based on the trigger or the side that we are entering so here I'll do a select and I'll select one of these points based on like this if this entry trigger is the enable trigger I should use point one otherwise that means I was in the disable trigger entry trigger is the disable trigger that means I should be using point two okay let's test now I 
yeah see now it's working let's go to the other side yeah it works nicely if I enter from here again it works uh, my camera is wrong and also we need to move the wall a little bit because the character is not touching the wall and the exit part is also works fine so the reason for that camera issue is this here somewhere i reset the camera location sit here yeah to zero but i should only do this if my camera is following the character i did this because when i re-enter the squeeze through camera it was starting from the end of the path last time so that's why i did this but now that i have implemented the follow no move camera variable so that if this is false i don't really have to reset the location so that should fix that camera change okay and another thing so here when i am going this way or this way i am using the same animation it's not actually much visible because the animation is not that good anyway so but i'll show you wait why is this i'll show you how to fix that animation issue as well so we can have two different directions but this whole component to access none trying to read property exit trigger but we do set an exit trigger here maybe let's add a small delay just in case okay now regarding the animation here is my animation blueprint all back reverse okay now go here we have a play rate variable where is it okay here rate scale i'll make it minus one so it will be plain black backward then oh uh, what's this psp wall so here i'll set the horizontal axis minimum value to minus 100 then to the minus 100 i'll use this one okay now here it's moving backward here it's moving forward okay uh, one more thing i'll change the head rotation neck so that we can visually see oh I should add the keyframe here. Oh, let me delete this out together. Right. And add a key here. Yeah, now it works. Because this was already reversed, so that's why I had to add the keyframe at the end. All right now if i go here if i'm moving this way my character is looking that way if i'm moving this way character turns to this way. right now this ground speed is actually changing from zero to a positive value this does not get any negative values so this part will not be activated in this setup so what we can do is let me find the references this is where we set this so here we have a reference to character as well 
so let me get the character reference and then get actor forward vector and from this i can do a dot product with this velocity so this will give us the ground speed the speed that could be a negative value as well so if we are moving in the same direction as the forward of the character we will get a positive value otherwise if we are moving in the opposite we will get a negative value so i'll use this it like this so xy part i don't think that would matter and then in the places where we use ground speed so these are designed to have a positive value therefore i'll use absolute before using it so it would be same as before for this we do need and for this it's not designed to have negative values so absolute okay now let's see enter the word from here now we are moving that way and if i'm coming back you see now the character is looking this way okay so perhaps when we stop the characters it would be better if the character is facing forward but that's a minor thing you can fix it by yourself just modify the animation of the idle animation okay so we can exit from here and if i enter from here i can do the same thing it can return to the beginning and exit okay that's all i was planning to do for today and in the next time i am planning to work on what if the wall is on this side other than this side Currently it's on the right side, but does that already work? Uh, I'm not sure. So I want to think about that maybe in the next episode. If this is already working, it's fine. Thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. Feel free to let me know what you guys would like to cover in this series like feel free to suggest any other camera systems or mobile systems and i'll try to cover them in future episodes so thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye